This video is sponsored by aejuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from buildmotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create a very smooth and dynamic looking text animation inside of After Effects. It's going to be super simple but super useful. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to make this 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create a background. So I'm going to hit Control Y to create a new solid called this PG for background. And let's select a nice dark uh, background color like so all right so that is looking good now we can go ahead and type in our text so let's select the text tool and let's type in our first text i'll make this big and for the font i will be using barlow which is one of my favorite font it's a free font i've mentioned the link in the description if you want to download the same exact font i'm going to type in my first text that is think let's make this all caps and i'm going to align this into the center let's set the kerning to zero all right maybe let's uh, I'll, I'll go with an extra bold extra bold i think it looks good on think anyways let's increase the size to around um let's go something like 250 or 300 let's go with something like 300 all right so now the first thing that we need to do is animate our first text so to do that let's go into the text properties let's click on animate that you see right over here click on the small button and let's add a property of position and going to add property of an opacity let's bring down the position to somewhere around 100 should be good and i'm going to bring down the opacity to zero go into the range selector i'm going to make some room right over here all right let's go to one second set the offset that you see right here to 100 percent go back first of all create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 then go into the advanced properties set the shape from square to ramp up and then change the ease high to 30 percent and ease low to 100 percent so now if i preview this we get a very nice text reveal as you can see looks pretty good but one more thing that i can do right here is i can turn on the randomize order so if i turn this on we get a really interesting look now we have random seeds as well so i can play around with this if i want to and i get a different kind of uh, positioning for the alphabets so if i you know change this i think i think this looks pretty good now what i can do is go to around one second select this text hit ctrl d to duplicate it and then hold alt and open square bracket to crop this layer just like so and I'm going to turn on the title action safe and let's create a mask. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a mask from the center like so. I'm going to make sure that it's properly aligned. So I'm going to hit B, select these points and using my arrow keys, I can just position them properly so that it aligns into the center. So that is looking good. I can select the second text that we had earlier. Let's change this color to yellow so that we know it's a main text and hold alt and close square bracket to crop that. So we basically have these two layers. Then I'm going to select this one again and uh, hit control D to duplicate it. Hit M to bring down the mask properties and invert this. So we get something like this. Now you can see we have a kind of a line that's that looks pretty weird. So I'm going to select this go into the mask properties and set the expansion to minus one so that should fix the line yeah and now we can animate this so to animate this it's pretty simple all i have to do is i'll go to around um, two second and ten frames select them hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe and drag those keyframe at the start just like so and then i'm gonna move this like so so we have a really nice animation now in order to be a bit more precise i can just simply create a shape so that we know it's properly lined up so i'm gonna create a shape and align this shape into the center 
and yep as you can see this text is a bit high so i can just move the second text actually a little bit more oh make sure i select the second text and just move this a little bit yeah just to be a bit more precise all right i can close the title action safe and this is looking pretty good okay now let's go ahead and add our second text so i'm going to select my text tool and let's type in the second text that is different all right let's bring down the size let's align this into the center like so maybe i'll set this to around 125 looks good all right and let's add a different color so something like this one looks good and we can also change the um, the color of the layer so that we know it's a second text and this is our copies of that think text all right so now let's animate this i want to create a revealing animation uh, for the difference so it's pretty simple what i'm going to do is uh, create a shape so i'll create a shape properly that lines up with this just like so align this into the center go into the rectangle properties and let's unlink this let's increase the width like so i'm going to call this mask all right and we can animate the mask so i'm going to hit s to bring down the scale properties of the mask and let's unlink this create a keyframe go back right here and let's bring that down to actually zero all right we can hide this layer we don't need to see it go into the different text select the different text basically go into fix and preset and search for set mat let's double click to apply this up and set the take mat from layer to mask and boom now we have this cool reveal now there are a couple of things that i will do with this to make it look even more cooler first thing is select the different text hit s to bring down the scale properties create a keyframe go back and set the scale amount to 200 so now we have a scale animation as well with this which looks pretty damn cool now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information check out the link in the description below now i want to move the anchor point into the center as you can see it scales up from the bottom and i don't like that so i'm going to simply select the layer hold ctrl and double click on the pan behind tool and now it should scale from the center but now you can see it gets chopped up at the edges because the mask layer is not big enough so i'm going to select the mask layer hit u two times to reveal the size of the rectangle path and let's increase this like so and now if i actually preview this we can see you can see we get this really cool look i think the 200 scale is a bit too much so i'm going to bring that down to around 150 Yeah, that looks much better. Now what I'm going to do is select all the three layers that we have hit U so we can see the keyframes and we can actually uh, delete a few keyframes like the offset one from this two. Now I'm going to select these four layers hit U so we can see the keyframes. Let's select all the keyframes and right click go into keyframe assistant and click on easy ease or you can hit the shortcut F9 to easy ease them and then go into the graph editor and right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and basically i'm going to try to create a peak into the center of these keyframes so basically i can just select so i can select the position of these two you know and drag the handle creating a peak like so i have to do this for every single property right here so let me just do this first manually and then i will show you a really quick way to do this so we can do this this way but as you can see it will take a lot of time and so i have a pretty nice solution for you guys so what i want to do is now you can see we have the animation but it's not the timings are not proper because we have done this manually on every single property so what we need to do is first of all i'm gonna hit ctrl z a couple of times to get rid of this 
So this is when we can use this free script called Keyframe Wingman. This is, by the way, this is not a sponsored video by them. It comes with Animation Composer again, which is absolutely free. I have mentioned the link in the description below. What the script does, it, it helps us to tweak the graph without even jumping into the graph editor. So let's select all the keyframes again, right click, go into Keyframe Assistant, easy ease them. And then if I go into my graph editor, select these points, basically I can control this point holding this one single slider which gives a lot more flexibility and now you can see everything is aligned super nicely so now if i preview the complete animation let's see what we get pretty awesome right so it's highly recommended that you use this script for creating this kind of animations now the third animation that i want to add here is a zoom out so to do that i'm going to right click create a new null object i can rename this to zoom all right, and I'm going to make sure this anchor point of this is into the center so I can hold, hold control and double click and then basically align this into the center and then I can uh, parent everything. So you can right click here, go into columns and bring up the parent and link option and then parent everything to this zoom layer that is the null layer where I can hide this, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe and then let's go to around three seconds and let's set this to 90. So I can select this again and click on the small icon which is going to apply the same animation on this one. And now boom there we have a super cool looking title animation instead of After Effects. So these are the techniques that I personally use to even create templates on sites like Video Hive and stuff. So if this tutorial helps you, do let me know in the comment section below if you want me to create more tutorials on these kind of title animation which looks super classy and looks very very nice. You can use it in a number of different scenarios for your vlogs, for your videos and whatever, wherever that you want. So that is a wrap for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new on my channel then make sure to hit that subscribe button and you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned the link in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out